everyone, I'm Auntie M, and are you ready to explore shadows? Are you ready to laugh and play, learn new things every day? Let Auntie M show you the way. Have you ever seen your shadow before? Shadows happen when something blocks out the light. Or like when the sun rises or sets, it'll cast a shadow in front of you or behind you. And it chases you all day long. When you're jumping or when you're running or when you're playing, it'll be right beside you. There's all sorts of shadows. Some of them can be kind of scary and then some of them can be really fun. Do you want to learn about them? Let's go. Today, we're gonna do a performance, but we're not the actors, you guys are. Have you ever seen anything like this? It's called a stencil, and we can play with them to perform a shadow puppet show. Do you wanna see one? Let's go. This is the story of the three little pigs. One day, the three little pigs went out to the forest to go camping and have a big party. They were gonna have a lot of fun together. Look at them dancing. Wee 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 wee. But they didn't know that they woke up the big bad wolf. He was on the other side of the forest. Who's making all that noise out there? I'm gonna go take a look. And he went out to find where the noise was coming from. The piggies, they turned up the volume and they were playing fun music and they were shooting off fireworks. Wee wee, I'm having so much fun. Wee 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 yay. All of a sudden, there's the big bad wolf. Oh no, oh no, we're so scared. Ah. Are you the ones making all that noise? All them fireworks, the loud music? Who even needs it that loud? I'm gonna eat each and every one of you and teach you a lesson. So the piggies ran all the way home. They were so scared. And the wolf was following them the whole way. So first, little brother ran to his house made of leaves. Hey, little pig, I see you in there. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of a chinny chin chin. Well then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the wolf went to the second piggy's house. A sister piggy's house. Ah, and he lands on the ground. Little brother, what happened? Sister, we have to get inside. The big bad wolf's coming. And they ran inside the house. Then the big bad wolf came. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Little by the hair, I'm a chinny chin chin. And I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Whee! And the two piggies landed at Big Brother's house. <gasps> little sister, little brother, what happened to you? Oh, the big bad wolf's coming. Okay, let's get inside before he comes. And then the big bad wolf came. Little pig, little pigs, let me in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. But the big brother's house was made of brick and the big bad wolf couldn't blow it away. So the wolf turned around and left the three piggies alone. The end. Next is the gingerbread man. Once upon a time, there was a grandmother and her grandson. And the grandmother was very happy with the way that the grandson was doing in school. So she wanted to treat him to something special. So she said, go off to the living room and I'm going to bake you something really special. So she decided to make a cookie that looked like a man. A gingerbread man. She put him in the oven. 20 minutes until golden brown. That should be excellent for the grandson. Soon 
after, the grandson and the grandmother returned back to the kitchen and they saw the gingerbread man on top of the stove. Oh my, did I bake him too long? He's alive. And he said, run around as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he ran out of the kitchen and the grandmother and the grandson chased after him. Grandma, is that my delicious treat? Oh, you bet. Let's after him. Go, go, go. And outside, he met a friendly doggy that was like, arf, arf. <laughs> Something smells like cookie. You look like a cookie. I want to eat you. And the gingerbread man said, Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Arf, 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 arf. And the whole crowd started chasing after the gingerbread man. After him, my boy. Hurry, hurry, Grandma. I think I see him over there. The gingerbread man ran all through the farm fields until he met a friendly cat. And the cat said, something smells like cookie. You look like a cookie. I want to eat you. And the gingerbread man said, no, I run around as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And the cat started chasing after him. And so did the big crowd of doggies and cats and people. There they go. Here we go, we're gonna come for you. And the gingerbread man ran as fast as he could all the way to a farm where he met a friendly piggy. The piggy was rolling in his mud and he was so happy. And then he said, something smells like cookie. You look like a cookie. And the gingerbread man said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he went. And the piggy started chasing him. And so did the grandmother and the grandson and the doggy and the kitty. And the gingerbread man ran all the way outside of town. He ran so fast until he ran into a river. And he thought, oh, I can't cross this river because I made a sugar all melt. And so he looked back and forth. He didn't know what to do. And all of a sudden, a fox came up. And he said, Gingerbread Man, would you like me to help you cross the river? You just have to jump on my back. And the Gingerbread Man said, yes. And, but, I don't know. I don't think I should ride on your back. You look really hungry. And the fox said, you can trust me. And then he saw the big crowd of townspeople and animals that wanted to eat him. Oh, and the gingerbread man got so scared. Ah, okay, Fox, I'll jump on your back. And away they went. Giddy up! Fox started swimming. And then he said, Gingerbread man, I'm getting very tired and I'm sinking. You have to jump on my head to keep safe. The gingerbread man said, okay, I'm trusting you. He climbed on top of the fox's head and they kept swimming. And then he started sinking again. He said, gingerbread man, jump on my nose so you can stay dry. And the gingerbread man said, okay, I trust you. And he jumped on his nose. And the fox kept swimming and all of a sudden, <gasps> He ate the gingerbread man! The end. Which one was your favorite story? I love that one. Do you want to learn the last type of shadow? Okay. Do you remember when I told you that a shadow is cast when something blocks the light? Usually that happens outside, but sometimes that can happen inside of us too. When there's thoughts or feelings that are blocking out our inner light. And those feelings can be something that you don't like about yourself or maybe something that you're not comfortable with. And those are okay, they're totally natural. But if you have those feelings, it's best to tell a trusted adult so that you can talk them out and then you can shine again. I had so much fun exploring different shadows with you. I hope you had fun too. And if you did, let me know by pressing like, subscribe, or ring the bell so we can go on more adventures in the future together. Cause I love to learn with you. Okay, I'm Anti M. That's A U N T Y. Bye bye.